Welcome to my second annual designer bag collection video. I'm really excited to film this one because there are some unreal additions to the collection. I'm going to try and keep this fairly short and sweet because a few of these bags I did feature in last year's one which I will link down below so I won't go into a huge amount of detail but I'll just tell you like a bit about my experience with each bag and I'm actually really excited for it so let's get started. <laughs> I literally sound like such a broken record right now, but if you are watching my channel for the first time or if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, then I would really appreciate it if you hit that red button down below. I'm trying to hit 50k subscribers by the end of the year. We've literally only got nine months to go. I think we can do it, but I would just really appreciate it if you guys do enjoy this video or you find it helpful in any way to join the family. There's plenty of fashion content coming away over the next few weeks, so I'd love for you to join us. The first bag I'm going to show you guys today is the gorgeous Balenciaga hourglass baby bag i think it's called the baby or the mini it's the smallest one that they do all these designer brands have different names for their bags so i literally don't even know where to begin but it is the smallest one and i'll have everything linked down below this is a new edition i got it like two and a half months ago i got it for christmas and i wear it all the time it's in perfect condition it's a nice durable bag and you can fit quite a lot in here even though it's absolutely tiny like it's not much bigger than my head you can fit quite a few little items in here so i definitely recommend this one next up is my gorgeous little chloe bag this was actually the first designer bag that I ever bought I got it for my 21st birthday but I wanted to show you it quite early on in the video because it's a really good bag for spring I feel like Chloe if you're looking for like a spring summer bag definitely shop on Chloe I would say because their quality is actually pretty decent and the prices aren't too crazy either and this is the Nile bag in the smallest size I think that they do and it's just really cute really versatile you can hold it in like lots of different ways and it's also in this beautiful like blush pink it's kind of like between a pink and like a nudie brown it's gorgeous and I can't wait to wear this over the next few months this next bag I literally got yesterday so it is the latest edition in the collection this is the Pelin Paris number no. nine bag and it's just beautiful I love this tan color and the shape of it as well is so interesting and like so unique also Pelen is such good quality at a pretty decent price like I'm pretty sure this is around the 400 pound mark so it's pretty affordable in terms of like you know designer bag in the designer bag world so another one I would definitely recommend and I absolutely cannot wait to wear this I'm actually gonna I'm gonna take this out for a spin after I film this video next up is my trusty little YSL sac de jour bag this is the smallest one that they do I think it's called the baby and it's in like the the croc effect leather I love this bag I wear it all the time it is so gorgeous it goes with everything like every single outfit I wear like this bag will match so it's probably one of my favorite purchases and it's very timeless like, I think this bag's been around for the best part of like 20 plus years and I just don't think it's ever gonna go out of fashion so if you are on the hunt for like one of your first designer bags and I think this one is a really good one to go for and it's not too crazy expensive either next up are my two gorgeous little summer bags so these are the Jacquemus La Panier Soleil bags I've definitely butchered that pronunciation so I'm really sorry but these bags are gorgeous they are huge like you can literally fit anything you need in them they're great beach bags if you're going on holiday it kind of works as like a hand luggage bag as well this one hasn't actually been used yet I got it towards the end of the summer but this one I did use last year and one thing I do want to mention is be careful with sun cream on your hands or just anything on your hands because it will damage the um like the suede here but other than that I still think it looks in pretty good condition and I love these this next bag I actually have like the biggest love-hate relationship with it is the Gucci Mamot bag in velvet in black velvet this bag needs to be treated like an actual baby because I don't wear it very much like I probably wore it quite a lot when I first got it because I think like two years ago these bags were everywhere but um just the velvet like discolors it's got like imprints everywhere it's really not a good bag when you think of like the price that you pay for it so if you are still looking to get like a mamot style bag i don't think they're really that in anymore i still love to wear it but i would say go for the leather not the velvet because the velvet is just so stressful unless you like treat things really well don't go for this this style of fabric like I was saying earlier about Pelin Paris being one of my favorite brands I do have another bag from them this is the number seven in this gorgeous like taupe color I kind of 
I don't know if I bought the right colour in this bag because it doesn't match everything. Like I wear quite a lot of like beigey shades and I don't think it exactly matches all of those colours. But with a black and white outfit, this looks unreal. This bag is just such an interesting shape. I don't know who designs, um, who's like the person that designs all the bags for Palen, but they are, they're just getting it spot on. Like this shape is so unique. It's got the top handle here and then it's got this chunky strap here so you can wear it across body. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful bag. I've worn it loads and it's in as perfect condition as when I bought it. So absolutely love, love this and couldn't recommend it enough. I absolutely love the colours of this next bag. So this is the Strathbury Crescent shoulder bag. It is beautiful. I feel like this is the perfect bag for this summer because sage green is going to be a big trend this year. I actually can't wait to wear this. And it has two really lovely straps as well. So you've got like this shorter leather one, I guess, if you want to wear it like more of a shoulder bag. And then it has this gold chain one for if you're wearing it more of a crossbody style. I think it's a really nice versatile bag and I just can't wait to wear it some more once we're allowed out the house. This bag is literally like the perfect one for autumn. So this is the mini Windsor bag from Fairfax and Favour, who like Strathbury are a UK brand. I think this bag is actually made in the UK, which is lovely. I absolutely adore this. I haven't had, I haven't really had the chance to wear it that much because it is more of like an autumnal vibe. And it's in this like gorgeous, like conquer brown color, but when it gets a little bit colder, maybe like September, October time, this is going to be worn so much because it's just adorable. It's so cute. Another little number from Fairfax and Favour is the mini Loxley bag. I think I put this in the last video and I've actually worn it a lot more since then. It's just the perfect little spring bag because you can kind of hold it like this which gives you know a cute little vibe and it actually does have a shoulder strap but I'm not gonna lie I don't know where it is I think it's somewhere over here in my room but yeah another one that I would definitely recommend from Fairfax and Favour and I would say I probably prefer this to the mini Windsor I'll show you them both together I think this one is more of my kind of vibe this next bag is one of the biggest in the collection so this is the Burberry Oh my gosh, I can't actually remember the name. I will link it down below. I'm so sorry. I find it really hard remembering all these names. But my mum is actually using this at the moment, so it's quite weighty. I mean, my mum is one of those people that puts everything in her bag, whereas I literally just have the most small amount of stuff. So this is pretty weighty, but it is a gorgeous bag. It's nice and classic Burberry without looking like too intense with the kind of crisscross effect. I, I'm not a huge fan of this pattern, like when it's everywhere, but I feel like this nice little detail it's quite chic and um, I'm going to put this down because it is really heavy. I almost forgot about my other little Palen Paris bag. So this is the one I think the brand launched with. It's their number one bag. Um, like as in it's actually called the number one. I don't know if it's the number one best selling one. But yeah, I've had this for quite a while now. And I mean, I have damaged it a little bit. I obviously wore it with like a dark pair of jeans or something one day. I really did actually do all this damage in one day. I, I don't know what the hell I was wearing. Um, but it is a really nice durable bag. I've been wearing it a lot recently especially as the warmer days are coming it's a great spring summer bag and it's a really lovely color as well it's just gorgeous i'm going to show you the last two bags together because i have not worn these for a very very long time so these are the pinko love bags i'm not sure if they're still available in these particular styles but i will find very similar ones down below i really have not worn these much at all which is actually such a shame they're actually those kind of bags where i forget that i own them because this blue one would make such a statement with like an all black outfit or like an all cream outfit this will really add a lovely pop of color and then this is kind of in like a gray taupe color i don't know why i don't wear these enough like i think i'm actually going to pop them on my bag shelf in my room so that i remember that i have them because i don't really know i think i would be better off selling them if i don't wear them so i might give them one more season see how much use i get out of them and then they might be up on my depop which um which by the way i will link actually down below because i have got some really nice stuff on there so uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on these. Whether you think I should keep them, whether you think whether you think I should sell them. Yeah, let me know. And that is all my designer bags that I have currently in 2021. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you do want me to do one with kind of more like high street brands, because I was actually going to put them in this video, then I realized that this video was going to be way too long. So if you want me to do more of like an affordable brands video, I would love to do that because I have so many bags all just sitting there and I want to show them off. So um, yeah, let me know what you think about that. But anyway, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.